Mr. Dolan argued that Prince Harry was competing with Prince Andrew to be the world's most unpopular prince. He also went on to blast Meghan Markle as Yoko Moano, the Princess of Woke, and the woman who broke up the royal band. Dan Wooten started the conversation by asking if there had ever been a member of the royal family who was so woefully out of touch with the lives of ordinary Brits. He said, has there ever been a better illustration of a member of the royal family being so woefully out of touch with the lives of ordinary Brits? Can we just remind him are in the midst of a massive cost of living crisis? I mean does he have any idea? In response Mr. Dolan said that he suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder after listening to a speech from the Duke of Sussex. He said, it seems like Prince Harry, Dan, is competing with Prince Andrew to be the world's most unpopular prince. I've got post-traumatic stress disorder listening to that nonsense. This guy needs to get over himself. As you rightly say another attack on Britain from the luxury of his mansion. It's an insult by the way. I think therapy if you've been through a trauma. Anyone watching this program should reach out because help is always there. But this obsession with therapy is now an industry that Prince Harry is part of. As you say he was there representing Better Up, a coaching and mental health company who are paying him a fortune. Mr. Wooten responded. I think what I find particularly frustrating about his comments is the fact that he has to make an anti-British dig and he has to make an anti-royal family dig. Mr. Dolan agreed and tore into the Duke blasting him as a snowflake, as well as, unacceptable, and a hypocrite. He said, Unfortunately Harry appears to be the king of the snowflake generation, and I don't think these comments about the royal family are acceptable given the fact that he has left. He is in America. Why does he continue to lob poisoned arrows in our direction and how dare he criticize the monarchy and the royal family whilst hanging on to those titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex? He's not the Duke of Sussex. He is the Duke of Hypocrisy. Mr. Dolan concluded by arguing that the Duke used to be the most popular member of the royal family after the Queen but his popularity suffered after his marriage. He said, we all loved Harry when he was a carefree, fun-loving national treasure. He gave that all up when he fell in love with the Princess of Woke, the woman that broke up the royal band, Yoko Moano herself Meghan Markle. It comes after Prince Harry seartisized the bitish attitude to mental health in an interview on the Masters of Scale podcast. He said, 99.9% .9 of people on planet Earth are suffering from some form of loss, trauma or grief. It doesn't matter what age you are, but the majority of us have experienced a lot of that in our younger years, therefore we've forgotten about it. Now, the body doesn't forget. The body holds the score as we know. And, therefore, just as much as there's a mental health aspect to it, there's also the emotional aspect to it as well. And I think the more that we can talk about it, the more we understand it. The more we understand it, well, the more we understand each other. Dot. You talk about it here in California. I'll get my therapist to call your therapist. Whereas in the UK it's like, therapist. What therapist? Who's therapist? I don't have a therapist. No, I definitely don't. I've never spoken to a therapist.